Hello there guys. Welcome back to another Missing Persons video. Today we're going to talk about Missing Person Bradley Straysner. Uh, he has been missing for one year now from Leesville, Louisiana. Um, yeah, and before you go and Google Bradley, um, I will put the elephant out of the room. Bradley does have a history of criminal behavior. Uh, and when you Google him, uh, a lot of mugshots and bail bonds things come up. And as a matter of fact, on the Facebook page for the sheriff department, uh, right where he's at, there's a, he was wanted apparently about uh, four years ago for, you know, for stealing some stuff. He had a, um, battle with uh, drugs. I'm not 100% sure if that's in the past now, being 2020. Um, and I do believe that the criminal things are in the past. I think I really don't know 100%. Feel free to drop any information that you have about this case if I get anything wrong. Because as I say every time I do a video now, I am not a reporter. I'm not a private investigator. I have no law enforcement background. I'm just camera trying to help out uh, the world do uh, my part, do a nice thing. And uh, <clears throat> so we don't care about Bradley's past uh, or that the fact that he is a addict or former addict or anything like that. That's if you watch any of my videos, we don't care about that. Um, but I did want to get the elephant out of the room because if you do go and you Google him, yep, some things do pop up about Bradley. And, um, hey, you know what? We all have a past, and so, you know, what to do. So I thought we would start out this video with a local news video. Uh, this uh, was actually, here we are, February 7th of 2020. So it's been quite a while that this aired, actually, but this is the only one I could find at the time. And I'm Cynthia Arsenault. The Vernon Parish Sheriff's Office is still looking for a missing Leesville man who hasn't been seen since last year. As KPLC's Chandler Watkins reports, their search for the man also led to discoveries in two cold cases. 30-year-old Bradley Straysner hasn't been seen or heard from since October 31st of last year. That's according to the Vernon Parish Sheriff's Office. Authorities say the car he was last seen in was found abandoned. Chief Deputy Calvin Turner says they brought in help from the Red River Parish Sheriff's Office to continue their search. Well, they have a cadaver dog. They were generous enough to come down, spend some time with us yesterday. We had two areas that we wanted to search, uh, just kind of trying to rule out those areas or anything that may have taken place there. But the searching didn't stop there. After we finished the search in those Two areas that we had, we went on to um, where some of the remains have been found in past cases. Um, and we actually learned a couple of things yesterday. So it sparked some interest and we will be going back to those areas uh, in the near future. Those two cold cases, according to Turner, are the investigations into the murders of Tammy Call, her body found in 1997, and Karen Hill, who was found dead in 1988. Will it bring anything new? We don't know. Uh, we're optimistic. We hope that it does, but time will tell. It's that same optimism that they're bringing to the ongoing missing persons case. Anytime there's a missing person on the side, there's someone who knows something, period. That's why we like to try to keep these cases uh, open and uh, keep them up front. You know, the family, they're not forgotten. And, and we're going to solve it. At your service in Vernon Parish, Chandler Watkins, KPLC 7 News. So I, um, I think that's interesting that they actually went and looked uh, places where bodies have been found previously. Um, that's very telling to me that they looked for him um, there. Uh, kind of makes me think that possibly they think more of foul play is involved in this case, which is very possible. Now, this is a little more recent article that I did find um, right here. Uh, this was um, August 17th of 2020, so much more recent. And um, this gives a little bit of information. Um, 
the fact that uh, Bradley was reported missing on November 5th of 2019 by family members who last saw him on October 30th. So, you know, why did they do that? Maybe Bradley was probably, you know, I don't know, maybe he disappeared often. That's possible. Um, but interesting, though, um, his the car that he was supposedly to take back to his girlfriend um, was found the next day at six o'clock in the morning. So uh, the vehicle that Strainer was last seen drive was located abandoned on Bug, Bug Dick's Road uh, in Sandy Hill area. And I have that up on the map and we'll pull that up in just a second. Uh, they uh, say that they are attempting to verify uh, his safety and well-being um, and seeking information. Uh, during the cor course of the investigation and search of numerous locations, detectives have been unable to rule out foul play in relation to straight <clears throat> disappearance straight snurs disappearance um and they have not ruled out that he left on his own there's a, a reward this is another article for bradley um saying that he had been added to namus and we'll pull the namus up um he's been missing since october 30th at the time of his disappearance uh Bradley was returning his girlfriend's car, but never returned. The car was found approximately two miles away from his apartment with the keys left in the passenger seat. Very strange, very strange, very strange. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Tends to make you wonder, did Bradley, you know, tick off the wrong person? Did he mess with the wrong person? Was that something involved? And here is his name is that was put up. Uh, like I said, he's 30 years old, uh, October 30th, 2019, and his mom is destroyed. I will pull up his um, uh, Facebook that she has put up, 5'10", 187 pounds, uh, <clears throat> and once again, Leesville, Louisiana, Vernon Parish. Once again, Bradley Straysner left home to return a car to his girlfriend approximately 10 miles away. I believe from his apartment with his mother. I believe he lived with his mother. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe that's what I'm gathering. Um, like I said, correct me if I'm wrong. In the comments, the car was found October 31st, the next day, uh, 2019 at 6.30 a.m. I don't know why. Uh, two miles away from where uh, Bradley was last seen. There's no apparent sign of struggle, and the car had been left unlocked with the keys laying on the passenger seat. So the same information, same information, but I just wanted to let you know there was a NamUs up there. So here is the Facebook page uh, that his mom is very, very active on. Um, bless her heart. I noticed that she has had to make some... Uh, announcements to kind of take it easy on her lay off of her but uh this was uh, october 30th so that would have marked the one year and um this was a really good post is the day she is a, she really she's very torn up apparently they were extremely close extremely extremely close um this is very interesting this is um a post from the 30th at, the, at this precise time, 365 days ago, you were sitting and talking to me in our apartment. So that leads me to believe that they were together. It, they lived together in the apartment. This is where he left. He leaves her apartment to take a vehicle to his girlfriend's house 10 minutes away and uh, never shows up. So go check out the Facebook page. Go join it. Uh, you know, support his mom. If you're in the area, she does try to put together things uh, for him. They have, A lot of things have had to be rescheduled due to COVID, so that's unfortunate. Um, I also want to go ahead and um, share um, where, and I don't know exactly where exactly he, the car was found. I'm sorry. Um, feel free to, you know, let me know. But this is the street or the road that I googled and found and let me find it okay right here whoa see where it's at I need my glasses guys okay 
right here. Bunt Nicks, Bunt, Bunt Dicks Road, Bunt Dicks Road. Now, this is where they say the car was been, was, okay. Bunt Dicks Road does go a ways down. I will go right here. It does go ways down. I, I don't believe this is like, see where it goes. I'm going to show, show you right here. And see, I don't believe he was down here. And I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know. But Bunt Nick Dicks Road goes all the way up here and up to here. And here is an actual, um, this is an actual, you know, area, uh, you know, possibly. Now, I don't see an apartment complex. I don't know what apartment complex she lives in or they lived in. Um, I didn't really get that deep. I could probably, but I, I, this is just a missing person announcement video. This is not like a deep dive into, you know, all kinds of shit. Uh, but this is the road that the, somewhere around here, I don't know exactly. It, it makes me think that maybe this is where the girlfriend possibly lived around this area. Maybe, maybe not. Okay. This is all assumption, but the police did say that this was the road and the road does go down. Like I said, this is a long road. It goes from here all the way up to here. So you know, that just gives you an idea. Google it if you want. And uh, check it out yourself. See what you think about it. Um, you know, that's that's just some information that I have about Bradley. Bless his heart. You know, I don't know what happened to Bradley. If you know what happened to Bradley, I think that you should definitely make a phone call. Any information? 337 uh, 238-1311 from Leesville, Louisiana. This is 1030 19 185 This is what he looks like. I have plenty of pictures up there for y'all to see also. But yeah, this is him. This is his poster. You know, his mom would love any uh, tips or information so I'll leave links to uh, all these places that we just went on this video. Um, I wish his mother, his family, he has a little son also um, that would like his father back. But really, how about if somebody knows something? How about somebody heard something? Um, maybe Bradley took off. Maybe Bradley talked about um being uh, depressed. Maybe uh, Brad talked about being suicidal, possibly. I mean, I don't know. If you heard anything, you could definitely help this case out. Um, definitely give them a call. And I will have the phone numbers down below for you to call. And, you know, call your tips and help bring these people home. Do your little part also in the world. So, Anyways, thanks for watching this video. I know it's kind of like kind of a little bit. I'll try to edit it so it's not, it doesn't look so bad. It seems a little bit, it feels like it was a little bit off. But anyways, I just wanted to get his video out for him. And I appreciate y'all watching and y'all have a good night. Take care out there.